Iran expands budget for those fighting ISIS warns U.S. not to threaten sovereign Arab countries in the Middle East. The Iranian parliament responded with threats to U.S. President Donald Trump's decision to sanction Iran. In July, the U.S. House of Representatives approved a bill imposing sanctions on Iran, North Korea, and Russia. Trump, however, opposed the inclusion of Russia. With a majority of 240 out of 244 ministers, the Iranian parliament approved the first reading of a bill which would enlarge the budget granted to the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Al-Quds force by $520 million. Much of the Al-Quds force is currently deployed in Syria in support of President Bashar al-Assad's regime and the ongoing fight against ISIS in Syria and neighboring Iraq. Iran's chairman of parliament Ali Larajani said, the Americans need to know that this is just the first step we are taking to deal with terrorists and their activities in the area. Referring to U.S. President Donald Trump's threat to use military action in Venezuela, Iran's foreign minister Bahram Kashimi said, the period in which the U.S. can use threats of using military force against sovereign countries is coming to an end. On Sunday, Mossad chief Yassi Cohen warned that Iran is stepping in to fill the void left by ISIS. This, he said, means Iran's control over the Middle East is expanding to include proxy forces in Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, and Yemen. Tags Iran, U.S. threats, ISIS, Trump.